Hello boyos, Rich Boy J here back in with another video and this is going to be episode 3 of the Starkiller base mock build series. Before we get into too much, I do want to say thanks to everyone who made a donation on the live stream this week. This week's donors are Zandy Boy, Elric Von Reg, Chris Blank Productions, SW Brick 75, Super Artist 73 Yeet, Cosmic Brick 44, Dan Dan 6151, and of course, Lego Soldier 82. So thanks to all of you guys for contributing to the mod. I do want to say that if you guys are not coming into the live streams, I definitely urge you to do so. It is a wonderful opportunity for you to not only see the mock early, but to also just hang around with a bunch of guys and talk Star Wars. Doesn't get much better than that. I think I got some pretty good work done this week. It was mostly allocated to um, really just doing a lot on this like base area where the troops are standing up. Also got all the platforms built up where they're going to be standing, which means I can finally run those numbers and find out exactly how many of each troop I'm going to need. So that's going to be valuable information moving forward. And then finally, um, I did get a lot of those flags built up. However, I did hit a little hitch in the road and I'll discuss that later on in the video, but that's enough talking guys. Let's jump right into the video. All right, now let's dive into the actual mock. You can see that finally got those platforms that are closer to the front done. Also got the plates placed where the figures are going to be standing. So um, make me very happy to get that done because now I can actually do the math and figure out exactly how many of what figure I'm going to need. I already preemptively went through and I actually placed the figure that's going to occupy that square on those uh, little platforms so I know exactly what I need to be calculating. Uh, one of the things that are, I guess, important is that where the spaces where there's going to be like stormtroopers, that actually can, you know, be either stormtroopers, flame troopers, or uh, snow troopers. What I realized on this platform is that really wherever there's troopers, they kind of are all mixed in. So like it doesn't really matter. They, it's not, I guess, homogeneous any particular square where the troops are standing. So when we take the sum of all the amount of the armored troopers and those will, I guess, be randomly dispersed throughout this mock. Um, I think towards the front, there are some small groupings of snow troopers that actually stand like right in front of the exhaust ports, which are basically like, I'm sorry, not the exhaust ports, but the elevators, which are basically right in front of the front row. So maybe I'll do that. But other than that, um, the troopers are going to be pretty random from what I've seen. Um, that also includes the heavy gunners, which are the guys like this with the uh, extra ammo going across their chest. So, so the good thing about that means I'm not going to need, you know, a huge amount of any one particular trooper since I have the option to uh, mix them in where I can. One of the things that I'm slightly concerned about is having enough of like the first order crew, those big helmet boys <laughs> like that, as well as the guys with the hats, like those guys over there. Um, I have a decent amount. I just, um, those are probably the ones I have the, the least amount of. However, I think I might have maybe 50 or so of each, maybe a little bit more. So um, hopefully won't have to spend money on getting more of those guys because I really don't need any more of those guys. I think we're all in agreement that those are the, the least valuable figures when it comes to these first order troops. But um, all in all, I'm happy with the progress that I made there. Um, Garrett and I also worked on this platform back here, just getting more of the ground built up. And uh, I think it looks pretty freaking awesome. Um, one of the things that I realized was that it's, it's kind of like a grid pattern. So that's really what I was trying to replicate with the T designs here. You can see it kind of continues there. And um, I think finally having multiple ones of them, especially at a pulled back view, makes them look really nice. Like you can tell exactly what we're going for. And that will continue all throughout the mock. So I'm actually super, super hype about that. I think it looks really good. And um, the little spurts of snow going across the whole, whole thing, I think looks really good as well. Uh, fortunately, a lot of it will be covered with figures. But for anyone who cares to look closely at this mock, they will certainly appreciate the attention to detail. Um, and uh, I think that's a good thing. It's good when people can look closely at your mock and really take in all the cool details that you added in. One of the other things that's worth noting for this update is we worked on the border of the mock. So similar to how we did with crate, with the like red bricks bordering it, we're doing white bricks on this mock to replicate the snow, obviously. And uh, it's a pretty simple concept. We threw in some of those curved slopes to replicate the smoothness of snow. So that's why those are there. And I think it looks pretty good. 
I think especially when the border gets built up all the way around and goes up to the base and then the light gray uh, platform area is what sits in it. I think that'll actually look really good. So I'm happy with that progress. One of the last things I was hoping I was able to get done this week was actually work on these flags right here. So you can see I have one right here and um, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to basically um, get a first order logo printed on that or probably do some sort of clear sticker that'll basically just stick right on there. Um, I don't know if you guys have any ideas for how I can do that. If there's like, I don't know, like clear sticker paper I can get where I can just print the logo on it, then peel it off and stick it on there. Let me know if that's a thing. If it is, I'll definitely get it. Um, but uh, yeah, these are kind of dispersed throughout the entirety of the speech area. So you can see I've actually marked them off with these trans red cones. So if you're wondering why those are there, that's why that's where the flags will be. I ordered enough parts to get 10 flags. This was before I knew exactly how many would be in the mock. I ended up actually needing to do 13. So it was not too far off, but I still will need to order some parts to build a few more of those flags. Um, I actually really like this design specifically with how it has the black border all the way around it that is accurate to the film. And I mean, it wasn't really that difficult to figure out, but I am just so pleased with the end result. Uh, I don't know, I always like when you can get Lego designs like that and it'll look even better when we actually have the stickers on there. So I'm really excited about that. The downside is I only got enough pieces to build one of these poles that they connect to, which is really annoying because I basically imported one of these to BrickLink and I tried my darnest to make sure I went through and I times all the quantities by 10, but the part that I missed were these parts right here. So it came in and I was expecting, you know, like 60 of those and I only had six. And I was like, did the seller just forget that many of them? But no, it was on me. I requested six and that's exactly what I got. So I have to place another order for those. It'll come along with the rest of the pieces for the flags. And hopefully for the next update, you guys will actually be able to see these flags standing where they're supposed to be in the mock, which I'm actually really excited for. The flags are a pretty big and noticeable part of this mock. I think it'll kind of break up some of the monotony of just like the whites and the grays and the blacks here on the platform. By having those big bright red flags, kind of kind of way, the way that Vardos worked, you know? Um, it was obviously a lot of gray there, but having the like red flowers and red trees and red accents in general really helped, I don't know, add a little bit more pizzazz to that mock. So that'll be what I'm trying to do moving forward. One of the things I desperately need to get are one by two tiles and light gray. Now I was convinced that once I finished uh, Vardos, wouldn't have to place another order for tiles. And of course, literally after I finished up these two sections, ran out of the one by two tiles in light gray. So I'm gonna place a huge order of those because we clearly have so much more of the platform to fill up. But um, with what we've done, I'm honestly happy with the progress. You know, this is, I guess, the third update, third week we've really been working on this mock. And I feel we have guidance, which is always important. Big mocks like these, it takes a lot of time to figure out how everything's going to flow together, but I think that uh, with what we've gotten here with this platform, I'm confident in it and I'm really excited to move forward. I'm especially excited to get more of these like T patterns built up and those little cracks towards the front of the mock to further nail home the, uh, the grid nature of this little platform. And I think it's gonna look pretty freaking sweet. Um, I know I mentioned earlier, I know I mentioned in the last update that I would attempt to start up a new TIE fighter. That unfortunately did not happen, but um, I'm going to ask this question again because I asked it in the last update. No one really responded, but um, this is something I'm testing out. I have a white wing and a gray wing um, on this TIE fighter, and I'm trying to decide which one I should use for the TIE fighters in this mock. I'm leaning towards the white because it contrasts well with the light gray uh, base. If you guys look at pictures of Starkiller base, you'll notice that um, the wings are definitely much more white than the light gray ground. So um, I'm thinking that maybe these will be good and white, but if you guys have a strong objection to it and really think I should do the light gray, let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully we'll get some replies this time around.
hopefully there are people staying around to watch this part of the video. Um, and also in terms of ships, I really need to start designing a first order transporter because what I have in mind is, I guess I have four TIE fighters lined up here. Obviously the Imperial ones aren't gonna be there once they're replaced with first order ones, but um, I think I might be able to squeeze one more TIE fighter over there. On this side, I'm gonna either do two or three TIE fighters here and then two or three, most likely three first order transporters lined up right there. They're gonna be customs. They're going to be uh, my own custom design, really just because um, the, the Lego set is not long enough. And um, I think that having this nice detailed, mostly snot TIE fighter demands for a nicely detailed, mostly snot first order transporter. One of the things I did not take into account that I'm actually thinking of right now is the fact that the transporters are gonna be considerably longer than the TIE fighters, which means that they're probably gonna extend further towards the inside of the mock. So I'm actually not gonna work on that platform because it might end up getting completely scrapped uh, to fit those first order transporters there. So. I'm glad that I did this video. I <laughs> see I'm learning things along with you guys. Um, can't believe I missed that. I knew I wanted to do the transporters. But anyways, no harm, no foul. I didn't put too much effort into that platform. I can just take it now, no big deal. But really, that's all I got for you guys this week. Um, got, like I said, decent amount done on the platform. Would have loved to have actually been able to have the flag standing, but I goofed. I will make it right, and next update, you guys will see some flags standing up, hopefully, if those parts come in on time. But um, definitely let me know what you guys think about how this mock is uh, coming along so far. I am super excited about it. Um, it feels a little bit of repetitive working on these sections, but getting to look at this now, seeing how the snow is coming out on it, totally worth it. I love the way it looks and I love the snot designs in there. So let's go ahead and make our way to the end of the video. And that's gonna finish up the video this week, guys. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the progress that I made this week. Um, I'm really liking what the platform is looking like. I mean, um, I was kind of concerned about just the amount of work and what would have to go into something like this. And I think I've reached a good, um, balance between having to do snot, but then also not doing snot, um, just to make sure those like base plates are structurally sound because they are going to have to travel with me to Brick Fiesta in July. But um, all in all, I'm super excited about this mock. Um, I know I said last week I would like to start on a new TIE Fighter. Um, this week I would like to do so. I'm probably not going to be able to just because of how my schedule set up because basically I'm going to be out of town this upcoming weekend from Thursday to Sunday. Um, there will still be an update. I'm basically just going to get all of my work done and front loaded before I go off to travel. So the, the episode will still be up on Sunday like they have been or at least they have supposed to have been for these past few updates. And um, I really do hope to get a decent amount of work done. But my goal is to basically place a lot of orders for things like TIE Fighters. Like I can guarantee you there will be at least one more TIE Fighter for not the next update, but the update after that. So my plan is to place those orders, have those actually um, shipped to me while I'm away, have them show up, hopefully by the time I'm back, and then I can go full force on this mock because I'm going to have quite a bit of time to work on a mock during that week and um, I'm really excited to kind of expedite this process. I know it's not the most exciting thing in the world. I'm just kind of continuing building the same thing but um, hopefully I can make it a little bit more interesting by adding ships to it and of course um, starting working on a custom version of the first order transporter. I'm actually quite excited about that so I think there are some very interesting things coming forward with this mock. So like I said before let me know in the comment section what you think about the mock and yeah like I I always say guys if you like what i do go ahead support the video by hitting the like button support the channel by smashing that subscribe button and i'll be back again very soon